Welcome to our Electron Line. Now that we know how to add capacitors together when they're in series, or we know how to add capacitors together when they're in parallel, how do we add them together to find the equivalent or total capacitance when there is a combination of parallel and series connections? Well, the way to do that is to kind of work from the inside out. What you do is you look for either some capacitors that are in series or some capacitors in parallel and combine them. For example, what I would do here is look at these two capacitors right here, which are in parallel by themselves, and then I would look at these two capacitors right here, which also are in parallel. Those are easy to add because remember, when capacitors are in parallel, we know that the total capacitance is equal to simply the sum of the two or three or four capacitors, however many there are in parallel. So that makes it easy, which means we can combine these two and turn those into one equivalent capacitor by simply adding the two together and make that a four farad capacitor. Notice all the capacitor values are in farads. So we're going to now redraw the circuit in a more simplified manner by simply collapsing those two parallel branches together into a single equivalent capacitor. So that means that we end up with Still, we have the, still the four farad capacitor right there, but these two will not combine. So this is two plus two, this becomes a four farad capacitor. And here a four plus four, this becomes an eight farad capacitor. So this is four, this is eight. And then here we leave that one alone. That's still the eight farad capacitor. Like this. So what we've done, and I'm looking for my red pen, I guess this is the one. So we've taken the two, two ferric capacitors, combine them into a single four ferric capacitor, take the two four ferric, four ferric capacitors, and turn them into a single eight ferret capacitor. Now the next step would be to look at this and say, well, before I can add these two parallel branches together, I need to add these two, which are in series, and I need to add those two, which are in series as well. In that case, since there's only two, we can take advantage of the I think the simpler equation, which means that in series, and we only have two capacitors, we can say that C total is equal to the product of the two capacitors divided by the sum of the two capacitors. So that means when I take these two right here, which are in series, and then I take these two right here, which are in series, I can then reduce those each into a single equivalent capacitor. So when we do that, we get the following equivalent circuit. So now we go from here to here. And so now we end up with something that looks like this. We have one equivalent capacitor in the top branch and one in the bottom branch. The question is, what are those two values? For that, we have to use the equation. So for the top branch, branch, there we go. For the top branch, we use C total is equal to C1 C2 over C1 plus C2. So in this case, that's 4 times 4 divided by 4 plus 4, which is equal to 16 over 8, which is equal to 2. So this capacitor turns into an equivalent of 2 farads. The ones on the bottom, we can say on the bottom branch, we have C total is equal to C1 C2 over C1 plus C2. So in this case, that's going to be equal to 8 times 8 over 8 plus 8. So that's going to be 64 divided by 16 or 4 farads. So the bottom is a 4 farad equivalent capacitor. Now we have one more step to go. Now we have those two. They're in parallel. That's again easy to do. In parallel, we simply add them algebraically. So then we can say, when we add those two in parallel together, again, just to indicate what we're doing, we'll just go ahead and circle these. We're going to add those two together now, turn them into one single capacitor, like this. Then we know that 2 plus 4 is simply a 6 farad capacitor. So we're at 6F for 6 farad, and that is the total or equivalent capacitance of this entire circuit, which means we could take this entire circuit of two, four, six capacitors and replace the whole thing by a single capacitor of six farads and the circuit would act exactly the same, no difference whatsoever. But that's, again, the methodology here is simply of knowing how to approach reducing a complicated circuit like that into a single equivalent circuit. 
So we can say that C total is equal to 6 ferrets as the answer. And again, the concept of total or equivalent is the same in circuitry. So we could say the equivalent capacitance is 6 ferrets or the total capacitance is 6 ferrets. And that's how it's done.